I don't know you. I don't know who I'm talking to. Sis, you are not promiscuous. So if you do some certain stunts. Hi ladies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Teniola. If this is your first time, you're welcome. My channel is all about self-empowerment and femininity, then different interesting things about women, ladies, relationships that you'd love to know. And I don't want this to be your last time here because I definitely love you watching my channel and content. So all you just have to do is click on that subscribe button to stay back, please. Yes, click on that subscribe button. You know it is free. It helps the community to grow bigger and larger. And definitely, it motivates me to bring more interesting and amazing content to you yes so thank you i know you've done it i love you so much welcome to the family so today guys i will be talking about something that i know a lot of us might not really be conscious about or might not know that it is wrong which is i know from the topic you've seen it which is five ways to be more feminine yeah i know a lot of people be like oh yeah i'm already a girl so why do i have to be more feminine yes you have to be more feminine to be attractive yes some of us complain that oh people don't come to us guys don't walk up to us guys don't yes let me tell you the truth if a guy walks up to you it boosts your confidence that okay i'm cute i'm pretty and it's just it if if we are more feminine then better men good men because sometimes some people will walk up to you and be like it's an insult so you have to be more feminine to attract opposite people and also to boost your self-confidence if you want to attract more people like guys you want you understand me now don't let's lie to each other you want that kind of vibe and also you want to be more confident in entering some places you don't want somebody to look down at you you can talk you can do some certain things by yourself this is the right channel for you and this is the right topic for you to listen to so the first on my list is to take care of your hygiene to be more feminine you have to take care of your hygiene you don't have to be scruffy you don't have to like you can do your hair you can and like just make sure that you are not scruffy like you don't leave your hair unkept if you can't go to the salon you can wash your hair indoors style it in a way that is very simple like there are as much as possible tutorials on youtube for you to watch how to style your hair so just don't leave it unkept make sure you set a day aside for grooming and when i mean grooming it means things you can't do every day because i know we can't shave every day i know we can't tread every day so just make sure you put a time down like it's not our everyday no bathing or, or something no all you have to do is just set five minutes down or a day maybe your weekends if you are somebody that is very busy or you just have to do is set it down or once in two weeks set it down and then know that okay this day i'm going for pedicure this day i'm going for manicure this day just so you can boost your beauty your inner beauty you can wax you can thread if you don't have money for all those things you can buy shaving cream do it yourself indoors watch how to do it and definitely it will boost your self-confidence it will it will bring out the feminine side of you and last but not the least on hygiene make sure you use a nice sweet and floral kind of fragrance it helps to boost like it gives you this signature smell yes i know some girls don't like it but on some days just be a lady don't be a man don't be like oh i like strong perfumes have floral perfumes by the side and that alone would make you by the time you are done me i i i know there are days that my grooming days yeah after i'm done shaving i'm done waxing i'm done doing every normal thing i wash my hair style my hair and all that there's a way i feel throughout that week i just feel like okay we are entering somewhere like exfoliate do normal things and trust me you will enjoy yourself and you enjoy the process yes so now to my second point my second dress in a girly style yes i know a lot of us like trousers a lot of us like some certain kind of wears yes but it's not all the time sis not all the time make sure you wear that gown make sure you wear that skirt it even helps you to walk better like it's there's this way it makes you feel feminine it makes you yes yeah, so you can use fabrics like silk like velvet just make sure it's something that is feminine not something that is like i don't know is thick is rugged yeah i know you want to be like that i know you are that kind of person but someday sister breathe 
Yes, honestly, you just have to breathe and be the girl that you are. Look beautiful, look attractive. Invest on those things. Invest on accessories like scarves, like jewelry, just all those things. They bring the look together and they make you look cute. They make you look sweet. They look, make you look nice. And yes, you are good to go. That brings me to my third point, wear makeup. Yes, my third point is wear makeup. Yes, I know a lot of us are like, oh, I'm not a makeup person. Honestly, I would tell you, there was a time I was like that, that I did not like makeup. But makeup takes your game, it changes your game from zero to hundred. I'm honestly telling you, even in pictures, like I noticed something about makeup. If you have something to do, like you have a makeup on your face, if you are in a party or something and you take pictures after hours, your face still doesn't look stressed. But the moment you are bare faced, trust me, after like two, three minutes of sweating or of stressing or something, take a picture and you see how terrible your face. I'm not saying your face is terrible, but just some, some days cultivate the habit of using nice makeup, do a nice simple makeup. You don't have to do something extra. You don't have to be a professional to get makeup done even if it's just foundation powder lip gloss and mascara you are good to go all you just have to do is just make that face move from bare face to beauty that's just all makeup is it's an art on its own so it's very interesting it's something sweet that you can do and something nice and creative you can go about and if you know you want to up your game in the makeup watch tutorials learn sit indoors and do it over and over and over again even people that learn that are professionals today if they don't do it regularly they can never get to where they are so just learn get your makeup color the shade of your color and yeah you are definitely good to go just make sure you have makeup on honestly makeup is a necessity i'm not saying this because of anything but if you want to be more comfortable if you want to be more confident if you want to be more beautiful you want to enhance your beauty and look good honestly i would like to you makeup is a necessity so please try as much as possible to even if it's just lip gloss foundation and powder with mascara you can buy now it's good just do that groom your eyebrows lift it up with maybe brow gel or something and then just very simple makeup and you are good to go yes so that is it please try as much as possible to use makeup to look good to be more feminine that brings me to my fourth point you have to do feminine hairstyles i'm not saying low cut is bad there are some ladies that are on low cut and they are sexy as hell they are sexy as i don't want to say it but they are very sexy so you can have styles if you are on normal short hair or long hair there are still some you can have your wigs you can have your ponytail you can have, you know guys sometimes don't even like girls like if you don't have your hair if you have your hair tacky you are not looking good just try as much as possible to make sure you have a girly hairstyle see my hair it's just very very simple it was just something I, I put together in three four minutes you can do that you can look up like online and see styles you can have braids like your braids falling down it's not all the time you have to just be serious like you pack your lose your braids down sis lose your braids look good for yourself honestly you look confident you will be confident not look confident so try as much as possible to bring everything together like your wigs if you have a nice wig straighten it look good your makeup is on your hygiene is on check everything is good you're smelling nice please tell me why wouldn't that brother come and walk up to you and say hey sis what's up can i have your number yes and you will also be confident enough to enter that's just like the same thing it's just that between you and celebrities it's just that they use more expensive things and if you can afford them sister go ahead and buy it you deserve every good thing that life has to offer and that's on a period honestly i'm telling you the truth so please try as much as possible to just bring up that feminine side of yourself with your hair with your makeup up with your hygiene with your styles bring up wet girly clothes wet gowns wet trousers wet very nice things and trust me trust the process don't be too harsh on yourself but trust the process that is going to work it's going to work if boys don't call you during that period is the like it's not possible it cannot work and one thing i want to chip in in the styles 
if you have some certain type of bodies do wear some styles do you get so just try as much as possible to work with your kind of body but make sure it is girly as possible there is no shape no form in this life that does not have a sexy style that is built for them yeah large small extra small extra large there is always a spot for you in the world so don't beat yourself and be like oh i can't find my style it's a lie sis look for it there is always a style for everybody that fits perfectly well so that brings me to my last and not the least points i know you're enjoying it you don't want me to go but anyways the last that not the least points you have to embrace your sexy side I don't know you i don't know who i'm talking to sis you are not promiscuous so if you do some certain stunts you move some certain stunts honestly you are a girl and nobody like nobody can take that from you and when it comes to being sexy it is ladies that are sexy so don't stress yourself over one boy and say it makes you it will make you feel promiscuous or something it's a lie yo. it's a big fat lie flirt if you want to flirt with boys do it don't just be excessive don't go and be i'm not saying you should go and be jumping with one boy or the other but just make sure you bring out that sexy side of you wear very nice attractive sexy you know what i'm saying like our clothes and you don't have to overdo it but at the same time just bring that side of you just bring that side of beauty just bring that side of sweet nice do you understand part of you being sexy yeah let me tell you one thing being sexy does not mean you are promiscuous you can be a lot as a lady that's one thing you know you need to know you can be so versatile you can be sexy you can be smart you can be funny you can you can be everything you want to be you don't allow the world to define how they see you you define how the world sees you so sis don't don't make anybody put you under pressure if you're a sexy person you like to wear nice sexy clothes please don't don't be office office kind of person every day bring out that sexy style let's like you have boys on in your dm flirt with them you have i'm not saying don't do extra before they come for me you have boys in your dm my sister flirts with them they ask you they talk to you like just say some things losing up like that's you being a lady if you are in a relationship don't do it i beg before they say stand that say mm -mm, don't do it but if you have boys in your dms don't be hostile at them don't cut them off don't just talk to them communicate like let them see that okay this girl she what the catch so please try as much as possible to do that bring out the sexy side of you you are beautiful you are smart you are everything you want to be and to top it all you are a lady you are a woman you are a girl you are you are a female in general nobody i mean absolutely nobody can take that away from you and just know that you are a superior gender don't let anybody come and take anything from you and you can get whatever you want that is one thing being a female so just try as much as possible to make bring that side of you and look good as possible so that brings me to the end of our talk conversation about how to be more feminine i hope this helps you i hope you are able to put yourself first you are able to get yourself together in 2022 i hope you bring that feminine side i hope those bros start texting you i hope you get the perfect man you want i hope you get the perfect friends you want i hope that confidence in you comes out at the end of the day and you're able to step in into anywhere regardless of where it may be and get that opportunity get that close those deals and be better yeah so thank you for watching my videos do not forget to subscribe to like and to share thank you so much i really appreciate your support so far see you in my next video don't leave this channel watch the videos on my screen if you haven't please join the community i love you so much Mwah. ciao ciao